F1. What an exciting sport, right? You know, F1 cars achieve top speeds of approximately 300 kilometers per hour. Now, this is almost thrice as fast as a regular car can go. And in achieving such crazy speeds, F1 cars actually have to battle against a ferocious, invisible enemy. Now, would you believe if I told you this enemy is something we all know? You know what? It's actually air. What? Yes, it's air. The car has to push the particles of air aside as it moves through it, which slows it down. So the air opposes the motion of the car as well, and we say that air exerts air friction on the car. By the way, this term actually refers to friction exerted not only by gases such as air, but also by liquids. So air and liquids combined, we call them fluids, right? Yes, we call this friction as fluid friction and more commonly as drag. This drag on F1 cars make a big difference to their performance. Let's see how by looking at the factors that affect drag. Now, firstly, we all have to agree that we have put our hands outside the moving car's window, haven't we? Right? Yes. Well, have you noticed that faster the car is going, the harder your hands get pushed back? Like this, right? Yes. This means that a fluid exerts more drag on an object that is going through it faster. All right. This is our first learning. Now, since cars or F1 cars more specifically go very fast, they experience very, very high drag due to this factor. Since they cannot avoid this drag because reducing speed is not an option. They have to rely on other factors to reduce the drag. Now, another factor deciding drag is nature of the fluid. Yes, that is the second factor. Let's understand this factor using a small experiment. All of you can try at home. Come with me. Hey, so this is our setup. Here I have one tall beaker of water and another of honey. These are same beakers, all right? And the level of water and honey is almost the same. I'm going to drop two metal balls and these are two heavy metal balls into them. Let's see which ball wins. We want to just notice which ball goes down faster. Keep your eyes closely on these two beakers. Come on, let's do it. Three, two, one. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. The ball in water went down much, much faster than the ball in honey, right? Yes. So this is what we want to tell you. It depends on the nature of the fluid. Because honey is thicker and denser, it exerts a greater drag on the ball, slowing it down. Similarly, an F1 car will move slower if it moves through denser air since it will have to push more air particles. That's how the science works. In fact, there is a popular F1 track in Mexico City that is at such a high altitude that air is actually 25% less dense. Consequently, cars on this track in fact move faster, achieving top speeds up to 350 km per hour as opposed to their usual 300. Yes. But there is one last factor which greatly determines the drag felt by an object. And you know, this is the only factor that F1 cars can do something about. It is the shape of the object going through the fluid. Let's do one small experiment. I have a piece of paper. When I release it, it floats through the air nicely, right? But if I take the same paper and crush it, watch. Ho oh, ho! It'll fall through the air much quickly, right? Yes! This is because the open paper has to move aside more air particles on its way down. So it goes down slower. For the same reason, the shape of F1 cars has been very carefully designed to experience the least amount of drag. Such shapes are said to be streamlined. The front of the car, which first hits upon air, is made very narrow and pointy. So it hits the least amount of air and efficiently moves air aside. Then the whole car broadens smoothly in a narrow wedge shape. So it cuts through the air very efficiently. Then at the back, there is this broad setup called the rear wing, which is designed to channel air straight behind the car. So this is how F1 cars combat drag. But before I go, tell me, are there any shapes in your daily life that you think are streamlined? Let me know your observations down in the comments and I shall see you in the next time. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.